The Sephora VIB sale is approaching along with so many holiday makeup launches. I have a couple palettes here. So of course, before the sale, I'm paying full price for these things to test them out and see if you should get them during the sale. Among the new products I have here, the first one we will be testing is this House Labs by Lady Gaga. They released their first ever eyeshadows. These are the Eye Library eyeshadow palettes. They came out in two different colorways, more of a warm neutrals, and this one is called Volume 2, the Super Neutrals, which have a little bit more of a cool tone vibe to them. These just look, something about the shimmers like really drew them to me. If you saw my like little holiday shopping video I posted a couple, probably last week I think, you may have seen that I was really interested in this and so it launched, I wanted to try it out. And since it's a little bit pricey, especially for the amount of shades you get in here, I wanna see if it's worth the money. They are talc free as well, which is interesting. Before we get into the actual makeup though, I wanted to do my hair. It's like getting a little bit greasy and I just feel like I want to put it up. Also feel like it would really go good with the makeup look I'm planning on doing today. So I have these really cool clip in vegan extensions. These are from Irresistible Me. They sent me so many different styles of their vegan clip in ponytails. I'll have their site here. So I just wanted to use one of them and show you how I install it basically. If you haven't seen my Instagram, I am really into wigs and hair. It's just such a fun extra layer if you've never tried like a wig on or just doing some sort of extension. It's so fun. Trust me. So I've seen products like this in Ulta and stuff and I've really wanted to try them because I'm like that's such an amazing way to do something easy that's heat free to your own hair, non-damaging and just so easy to do. But usually the shades of them, like especially for blondes, they just don't have very good shades. So when they asked me to pick out my shade, I saw this ash blonde shade and I was like, I feel like that literally could not match my roots better. So I'm so excited I finally get to try in some extensions. I do have quite the wig collection, but I'm excited that these could be more of an everyday thing. I think I am going to use this super long straight one. They sent me some multiple styles. I'll probably use some different ones in another video, but this is how they come in these really nice satin bags. And then they also come with these hair nets Make sure you keep these, it just keeps all the hair together and prevents it from knotting. If you've never used any sort of like clip and extension, you definitely wanna make sure that you brush it first. So these can be styled, they're heat resistant up to a certain temperature, I will put it on the screen. Usually you can style synthetic hair with steam, that's a really easy way to do it. I've done some of my other wigs with curls. I might turn this one curly at some point, but we're gonna try this super long straight one. And you may be like, Lindsay, you already have long hair, why do you need this? Well, I do have long hair, but it's not very full. So that's where these extensions come in. If you have short hair, these will like literally change your whole look. I think I'm gonna do like a very slicked back type of ponytail. I might leave these front pieces out though, sort of like Ariana Grande-esque. I like a really high pony on my face shape. So I'm just gonna start by combing everything back, I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible. It's always gonna have a little bit of texture to it though. And I'm actually using a clear elastic as well just to secure that. So now that we have just my regular pony, so now I'm going to wrap this around. You can see there's a little bit of a clip here. This just helps to secure everything in place. So once you have it Velcroed, you have this little piece here and this piece will wrap around the pony. It helps secure it. Also will blend in your hair with the extension so it looks really natural. And then bam, you just have like the longest ponytail of your dreams. I actually probably should have straightened my hair a little bit more, but I still feel like it blends, like the color blends really well. So they have so many different versions of this one. Like I said, I'll probably try on my other ones in a different video. They have this one in a long wavy one. They have a shorter option. But yeah, I am really feeling this. Also, these are very lightweight, so it's not gonna like pull on your head too much. Really good beginner option. Like it doesn't really feel like you have this much hair in. Trust me, you're gonna be feeling yourself in just doing this constantly. <laughs> I'm gonna clip back these front pieces again so we can get into this eyeshadow, but I will have, they gave me a discount code, I'll have it below in the description. If you wanna check them out, have some fun with your hair. But let's get into this makeup. So this House Labs palette comes in this very shiny silver packaging, very House Labs. And then you open it up and then you get six shades in this palette. First impressions is I thought this would be like a little bit bigger. Like it's kind of almost hard to hold because it's so narrow. Like if you have long nails, you might like get into these by accident. So I was kind of expecting something a little bit bigger for the price, but it still feels and looks really beautiful. So we have the six shades here. I'll give you the close-ups. I'll give you the swatches 
everything you need, it'll be there. So I'm just pulling up on my computer here. They have looks on their website and I wanna try to replicate I think we might just do a different look on each eye so we can really use all of these. The first one that I see on the website is sort of like this brown wing, like in the crease though. And then they have the olive shade on the lid, which I definitely wanna try out. They also have on the site which shades they use for each look, which I love that they did this. It's like really inspiring. So the first one they said they used is this like purpley mauve shade. So these aren't completely matte. They have like a little bit of a shimmer to them. And it looks like they just use this as a transition shade. When I swatch these, they are so smooth, creamy, and beautiful. Like they almost feel like a cream shadow. Applying really beautiful on my eye as well. Ooh, I love this shade. I'm gonna wear this ponytail so much in videos. It's just so fun. I also love on their site, it doesn't look like they like retouch skin at least or like any sort of texture. Like they just look like real people, which is great. Next up we have this shade, which is this sort of like muted grayish brown. It definitely has some like cool element to it. And I'm gonna take this angled brush. This is from Trixie Cosmetics, it's the PO2. Tapping off the excess and I'm gonna start to create that winged shape starting in the center. I mean, is that the center? No, <laughs> the inner corner of my eye. It's gonna follow my natural crease. This is actually above my crease, which is not what the look was. And then once I get to the end, I'm gonna draw from my lash line upwards. And then we're gonna meet those two. I feel like this look is gonna be so cool. These really do apply so smoothly, like as smoothly as they swatch. Now I'm taking this little tiny pencil brush. I'm just gonna blend that to soften it. I'm gonna leave this part, but like going inwards towards my lid. It's gonna help blend that into the transition shade. I'm actually going back in to this purpley mauve. Doing my own take on this look, I'm actually going to blend that into the crease since I did end up drawing above my crease. Blending that into the brown shade that we laid down as the shape. And then just going back into the brown, I'm just gonna deepen up the silhouette. When you're doing a graphic eye like this, usually if you sketch it first and then blend and then go back in, when you already have that shape laid down, you get even more of like a sharp look to it. Taking that brown again, I'm gonna start doing this as a little bit of a liner because it looks like it did come down onto her lid a bit. I will say this brown shade is like pulling a little bit more purpley on my lid, which I don't mind. It looks a little bit more brown on her. And then also just gonna softly smoke that. Alrighty, this is cool. It's actually like pretty simple because it's just this shape. And then we're gonna go in with this gorgeous olive green. I feel like this is just like one of my favorite shades that I saw when this released. Taking that on my finger, I always like to apply metallic with my finger. We just have concealer on our lids. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is like prettier than I thought. The chrome in it. So I basically just went ahead and filled in that open space with this green shade. I hope you can see on camera. This is like my favorite kind of metallic. It is so reflective and pretty. Literally no fallout though. I feel like it looks really good with my eye color because they can pull green sometimes. That look is gorgeous and actually really simple but looks way more complicated. So for the other eye, I think I'm just gonna do my own creation. So starting off, we'll use the shades that we didn't use yet. I'm gonna use this light peachy color. That's interesting because it definitely has like some more pink and purple green tones but it also has like this peachy color which actually on my lid it doesn't show up as peachy as it looks it's just a really nice transition these blend like a dream like they just feel so smooth yeah like that shade it just looks like my crease but slightly darker next up i'm going to take this purpley mauve shade again and i'm just going to buff that into my crease we'll do a little bit more of like a i want to say every day but like more normal shape like not graphic and i'm just buffing this into the crease these aren't like when you use them with a brush on your eye they're not like extremely pigmented which i usually like when things aren't super pigmented in eyeshadows like these like they're more creamy really blendable and seamless so you don't have to worry about them like being like they kind of blend themselves you know what i'm saying like just this purple shade with like a shimmer like beautiful everyday look 
I'm gonna take that same purple shade on a little brush and just do this on my lower lash line. I've been so happy with the amount of like cooler tone palettes that are coming out because I did not buy eyeshadow for the longest time, but now there's like all these gorgeous holiday launches. Next, let's dip into this smoky brown just to darken up the outer corner. This is such a good softer alternative. Look, like it's already blended. Softer alternative to black, especially if you have fair skin. Ooh, I'm just feeling this like smokiness so much. I bought this myself by the way. They did not send it to me. I'm just really loving it. Like, look at that. It just turned into this like smoky purple dream. Wow, so taking that same shade and just gonna do the very outer corner, my lower lash line. Okay, let's get into these purple shades. I'm gonna first take this one, this like bright fuchsia. This is a really interesting combination of shades, but like I really like it, it's so fun. I feel like you can do so much with it. And I'm gonna do that sort of on the center of the lid. These are so gorgeous. I had high expectations because the swatches on their site looks so gorgeous and pigmented. I was like, maybe they won't be as nice at per nice in person, but I love when you think something's gonna be good and it's good. Like, why is this shade so wearable, even though it's so bright? It just has such a smooth, gorgeous pearl to it. Now taking this pink shade, use another one of my fingers, and I'm gonna do this on the inner portion of my eye. Just using a little bit of a fluffy brush to blend this out. We'll see how it works with the brush as well. Okay, that's nice. It didn't totally flick away all the shimmer, which can happen with some shadow formulas. It's gorgeous. Going back into this peach shade, I'm actually just gonna go right over those shades, blend them in a bit more. This side I'm getting a little bit more fallout. I'm guessing that's because I did use a brush to sort of blend this inner pink shade in. I'm pretty curious to see if these will perform with like a damp brush, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna dip into this lighter pink and see if we can do this on my lower lash line. I wanna use this green shade so bad again. It's gorgeous. Definitely got a little bit more fallout. Let's go ahead and clean that up. I feel like I wanna deepen the outer corner of this one even more. So just going back into that brownish gray shade, very lightly dusting that out. Just to clean up, I'm taking a very sharp brush. It's not sharp, it's just flat, don't worry. And just cleaning up the outer corners. And then I'm just gonna grab a matte white and pop that on the inner corners of both looks and a little bit on the brow bone. And for this look over here, I'm just gonna grab a brown liquid liner. This one's from NYX, the Epic Wear one. You know I love it. Brown's not showing up that much. I think this one is just running out. So we'll do black. This is from Syrah, it's their liquid liner. And then let's do some mascara. I will use my Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extension, such a classic. So I think for this eye, we're gonna leave the lower lash line blank besides mascara. I feel like it just puts the focus on this really cool graphic shape. I would love to know which eye is your favorite. Definitely different vibes. This one, especially with my shirt, I'm just completely loving. So let's do a little bit of a lip to tie it all in and then I'll give you sort of my final thoughts and is this palette worth the money or not really, there's probably better. I guess I'll just do a neutral lip because we have two different eyes going on. The Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. This is the shade Nudist. And then I'm gonna do this Make Beauty Red Rock Lipstick. I did not realize I was red. I thought it was nude. Literally called Red Rock though. I'm gonna mix it in with this more pinky shade called Equilibrium. Okay, I feel like that did not really go with either of the looks. Everybody makes mistakes. Let's use this Syrah. This is the Heaven Lip Slick, which is definitely more neutral. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Also, I almost forgot about this, but a little trick if you're wearing a ponytail or just any hairstyle where your neck is exposed and you want like your makeup to really, you don't want any demarcation lines, Powder foundation, this one I used today from e.l.f. It's the camo one, just on a fluffy brush. It's a lot easier to do with a powder foundation because you could just like go everywhere versus it being a liquid. And then just make sure you like blend behind your neck, even onto your ears. It just makes everything look very cohesive. I'm loving these looks. Also feel a little bit weird because they're two different looks, but let's just talk about this puppy. Packaging, you will get fingerprints 
all over it, but it's beautiful. I wish like the actual component was a little bit bigger, like there was more space around the eyeshadows just because it's like, it's a very dainty little palette. The shimmer shades are insanely beautiful. They are unlike anything I've ever tried. Looking at the pictures, I was like, they look gorgeous. I knew I had to try them. This olive shade specifically, I mean, they're all just absolutely gorgeous. The matte shades, they're actually not completely matte. They do have a slight pearl to them. Beautiful, blend like a dream. Not super pigmented, but they give you more of that like creamy, super blended type of look. But you can also do some more graphic stuff like I did today, inspired by the look on their website. Overall, I think this palette is really stunning. For the price, I feel like if you really like the look of it, yeah, it's worth it. If you want to grab it during the Sephora sale or if House Labs has a sale on their site, I will keep an eye out. So I think if you get a discount on this, it would be totally worth it. Also, if you like warm neutrals, maybe that warm one would be a hit. Honestly, if they made a palette that was just all shimmers, that would be amazing. Maybe they will eventually since these are their first shadow launches because these are kind of just like, they're the star of the show for me. I have a lot of mattes, but these are absolutely stunning shimmer metallics or maybe like an all neutral shimmer. I'd totally buy that. I hope this review on this gorgeous new number was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my other holiday makeup reviews and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It will be two videos here so we can continue the fun and the good vibes. So click one of those and I'll see you there. Bye.